Hello there, my fabulous fitness friends. Desiree here, and welcome back to Danzig Fitness. Today, I have a fabulous two-in-one workout for you. So if you're limited on time, this is going to be right up your alley. It's a 20-minute workout, 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and we're really going to focus on the core and sculpt a nice tiny waist, and we'll focus on the legs and, of course, sculpt long, lean muscles. Here are your exercises previews. We are going to start with some plie squat side bends and then we'll go for some side laying double leg lifts and of course we'll do the same thing on the other side and then we'll go for some reverse forearm tabletop leg swings and then we'll do it on the other side. Next up, we'll go for some side laying passe lifts. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Then we'll go for our crisscrosses in a two slow, three quick rhythm. And then we'll go for some kneeling side bends with side leg pulses. And of course, we'll even things out and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, friends, grab your yoga mats and let's get to it. Nice wide ballet second position, hands behind the head. Plie down and we hold this position as we bend from the waist trying to get your elbow to your knee. Good, 30 seconds left. Make sure you're really exhaling on each bend. That's going to help you bend that extra little bit. Good, and of course the legs are working hard here to maintain that beautiful position. Keep going, we have 15 seconds left. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Good, almost there. Great job, friends. All right, check out those legs and let's get down on our mat. And we'll go for our side laying double leg lifts. So from here, we're gonna kind of rock back a little bit more onto our bottom so we can lift our legs up together as a unit. Legs are externally rotated in Pilates stance, so make sure your heels are together, toes are apart. Good. So amazing for the core, and of course, we're also working our legs, specifically those inner thighs. Good. Make sure the shoulders are away from the ears. We're almost there, 12 seconds, keep going. Great job, everyone. Woo, I know, that one is a killer. All right, swing your legs around. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Starting on your forearm. And roll back onto your bottom, lifting the legs up, and then roll back onto that hip on your side. Good. Of course, if you can't stretch your legs all the way, that's okay. Just as long as you're striving to make your longest lines possible. So if you have to bend those knees a teeny little bit, it's totally fine. 22 seconds, keep going, keep breathing. Nice long legs, long neck. Good, almost there my friends, 12 seconds, don't give up, you got this. Great job, everybody. All right, let's move along to exercise number four. Let's get into a forearm reverse tabletop. Engage in those glutes, hips up nice and high. Extend one leg out, the leg is turned out, the foot is flexed, and we just swing the leg open to the side. Now, the challenge is to keep your hips up 
end level, okay? So take a peek at your hips every now and again and make sure they're not tilting or doing anything funky. 24 seconds, good. Really pressing into the floor with your forearms and with your supporting foot. Almost there, 15 seconds left. Keep breathing, keep swinging that leg and really lengthening it nice and long. Beautiful. All right, relax down for a moment and let's do the same thing on the other side. So this one is so good. You're really going to feel this in your side abdominals, your obliques. And of course, we're working the legs, we're working the glutes, you're gonna feel this in your arms. So we're working a lot of different muscle groups with this one. Good, again, hips high, hips level. Don't let that one side sink down. 30 seconds. Good job, everyone. Keep going. Make sure your working leg is nice and turned out. Don't lose that external rotation. We have 10 seconds left. You can do it. Come on. Yes, great job, everyone. All right, shake it out. And let's move on to exercise number six. We're gonna lay down on our side. I want you to place your foot flat on your bottom leg. And the bottom leg lifts up and lowers down. So a lot of times in my videos, we do this exercise, um, but with a pointed foot. So we're switching it up today. Your foot is flat on your bottom leg and really press your foot into your bottom leg. So you're really providing some resistance. You're going to feel this in the inner thigh of that bottom leg and of course in your core. 18 seconds, keep going. there. Nice. Beautiful job, everyone. All right, let's swing it around and even things out and try it on the second side. Go for it. Inner thigh lifts that leg up. And again, the more you press your foot into your bottom leg, the harder that bottom leg has to work. So you can really control the resistance here. 28 seconds, keep going, keep breathing, keep smiling. You can do it. 20 seconds left. Good, and we're at 10 seconds. Keep going, don't give up. Great job, everybody. All right, crisscrosses are up next. So let's get down on the backs, lace up the fingers, hands go behind the head for this one. And we go one, change two and then faster one two three so we do two a little slower and then one two three a little faster good remember the elbows are nice and wide no cheating we're really twisting from the waist exhale on each twist to help you twist that extra little bit and of course we're imprinting our spine so don't let that back arch 12 seconds keep going wonderful all right, we have two more and then we repeat the whole circuit one more time. So let's get on the knees. One leg is out, arms are up, join your palms together. Press those shoulders down and first we bend towards the leg that's out. 
Then we bend the other way, palm goes on the floor, pulse your leg up four times, use your core to bring your body back up, and we start it up again. Good, 28 seconds. Make each movement count. So make sure you're really in control of the movement. Don't rely on any sort of momentum. You stay in control. Good, 12 seconds. You're almost there. Keep breathing. Long neck, shoulders down. Great job. All right, we got to even it out. So change legs. Good. And we have the arms up, shoulders down. And go for it, bending towards the leg first. And then lower your palm down to the floor with control. Pulse the leg up four times. Bring the body up and do it again. Good. These leg pulses are great for those outer thighs. Make sure your leg is in the parallel line, meaning your kneecap is facing the wall in front of you, not the sky. We have 16 seconds left. You can do it. Come on. Eight seconds. Woohoo! All right, friends, circuit one complete. Stick with me. We're going to do that whole thing one more time. So get on your feet and plie squat side bends. Go for it, friends. Make sure your tailbone is pointing straight down to the floor. Knees are over the toes. We're bending from the waist, exhaling on your bends. Bring your elbow to your knee as close as you can. Good. 25 seconds. Keep going, everybody. We're almost there. 12 seconds left. Don't you dare give up on me. Yes, woohoo! All right, let's get down on our mats and get ready for our side laying double leg lift. Try to say that 10 times fast. <laughs> okay, go for it, everyone. Remember, legs are in Pilates stance, externally rotated, heels together, toes apart. Use your inner thighs to bring the legs up. That way, you don't grip your quad muscles. And of course, we're using the core. Working those obliques. 25 seconds, keep going. Good, keep lengthening your legs nice and long. 12 seconds left, you can do it. Almost there. Yes, all right. Shake it on out, swing your legs around. Let's even things out and do the same thing on the other side. Here we go, friends. Lifting up nice and tall out of the floor. And use those inner thighs to lift the legs up. Good. Nice work, everyone. Keep going. 33 seconds. You can do this. Don't give up. If you're getting tired or you feel like you're getting a little sloppy, just slow down your pace. Remember, you set your own tempo. You don't have to go the speed I'm going at, okay? Form is the most important thing, so slow it down if you need to, but try to keep moving. You got this. We got eight seconds. Come on. Yes, I know those are super, super challenging, but oh, so good. All right, moving along, reverse tabletop leg swings. So we're on our forearms, hips up high, hips level. And go for it, friends. 
We're swinging one leg open to the side. Bring it back in front of you. Good. Most important thing is that we keep the hips up and level, even if you're tired, right? You can do it. We have 26 seconds left. Make sure that foot is really flexed. Make sure the leg is turned out. Keep engaging in those glutes and hamstrings. Hips up. 10 seconds. Yes, wonderful job, everyone. All right, let's go for it on the second side. Swing it around. And go for it. Really press the floor away with your forearms. Try to lift up tall as much as you can. Don't let your energy sink down into the ground. Lift up out of the floor. Good. And of course, we're making our longest leg possible with a nice flexed foot. So really feel the energy shooting out of that heel. 16 seconds. You can do it. Don't stop. friends all right let's move it along side laying passe lifts remember you control the resistance press your foot into your bottom leg as much as you can to really really challenge your inner thigh strength good and again even though we're laying down try to lift up out of the floor that's really going to help you Good, working the core here, obliques, inner thighs, 20 seconds, keep going. Ten seconds left. Wonderful. All right, stick with me. We are almost there. Don't you dare give up now. We've made it so far. Swing it around. Let's even things out. Again, pressing that foot into the bottom leg for resistance. Inner thigh lifts that leg up. Great job, everybody. We're at 30 seconds. Keep going. Try to keep up your pace, but remember, form is the most important thing. So if you feel like you're getting sloppy, just slow it down, but keep moving. 15 seconds. You can do it. Let's get ready for our crisscrosses. Remember, no cheating. Elbows nice and wide. We are twisting from the waist. And go for it. Two slow. And then three a little faster. Good. Exhaling on those twists. And of course, lengthening your legs as long as you can. Never gripping in the muscles, always stretching and lengthening. Good, 22 seconds, keep going. Fifteen seconds. And ten, almost there. Great job. All right, stick with me. We have two more. You can do it. Let's get on the knees. One leg out to the side, and we'll go for our side bend. 
shoulders down, lift up and over. And then we go the other way, pulse the leg up four times, working those outer thighs. Good. 30 seconds left. Stay in control. Good, 20 seconds. You can do it. Really make each movement count, even if you're tired. 10 seconds left. Wonderful. All right, last time, second side. We can do it. Finish strong with me. Here we go. Arms up, shoulders down. And go for it, my friends. Nice big bend. And pulse the leg up. Good, really use your core to bring the body up. Thirty seconds. Good, and we're at twenty seconds. Really push yourself this last little bit. You are almost there. Finish strong. Eight seconds left. You got this. you are complete with this two-in-one workout give yourself a round of applause pat on the back and i am sending all of you the biggest hug tons of love and light thank you so much for all of your support it really does mean the world to me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video and my channel with your friends and family and help me spread the love comment down below and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you never miss a damn zeke fitness workout okay my lovelies take care of you and i will see you in the next one bye